Congressman Pat Fallon potentially a violation of the First Amendment. What did you find out today? Hey, Dagan, you know, we want to find out, and, and what we're after here is did we know Joe Biden lied to the American people and he's compromised? And is that is him being compromised a national security threat? Because he said then candidate Biden told the American people, Dagan, that he did not have any business dealings, he didn't have any knowledge of the business dealings of his son. We found out through the New York Post. Hunter Biden laptop story that that wasn't the case at all and there were multiple dealings that Joe Biden had directly with Hunter's business associates. We're talking about folks in Ukraine, we're talking about folks in China and this could be a national, the president, think about this, the president of the United States could be compromised. We're just going to simply go where the evidence leads us. Congressman, the, the FBI is now engaged in this conversation saying, listen, we didn't have an inappropriate relationship with Twitter. After this hearing, what say you? Well, it seems as if they did, and that's why we need to do continued digging, because our worst fears, because Elon Musk spent $44 billion, have been realized. We thought that Twitter was really uh, biased, and it, I mean, you look at 99.7% of the Twitter employees' political donations went to Democrats, and I, I questioned Joel Roth today, which was a high level, a high, highly placed executive within Twitter, and I asked him if he had a personal political bias, and he said no, and then we showed a quote of him calling White House officials under the Trump administration Nazis. So clearly he was lying under oath when, when I questioned him today. And then we had, and I asked Roth, I said, did you get 10 confidential emails the night before the Hunter Biden story was suppressed from Elvis Chan, who was an FBI agent? And he said, yes, he did, but he promised that they weren't, they didn't have anything to do with the Hunter Biden laptop story. I don't really, I don't believe him, and that's why we need to ask further questions. Democrat Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Congressman, well, lost it in today's hearing, bizarrely saying this. Listen. They're weaponizing the use of this committee so that they can do it again. A whole hearing about a 24-hour hiccup in a right-wing political operation. It, it's just a, an abuse of public resources, an abuse of public time. We could be talking about health care. We could be talking about bringing down the cost of prescription drugs. We could be talking about abortion rights, civil rights, voting rights. But instead, we're talking about Hunter Biden's half-fake laptop story. I mean, this is an embarrassment. Half-baked? There's a lot to fact-check wow. in this piece of sound, but no. half-baked? Not anymore fully baked well, and fully true and accurate. It's Hunter Biden's laptop, full stop. Mm -hmm. Well, Dagan, you just said that uh, Ms. Cortez lost it, but my question is, did she really even ever have it? Uh, <laughs> and then she, she even, the, the self-avowed socialist, even admitted that she said it's half fake, which means it's, and even under her definition, that means it's half true, which, and you know, it's fully true. Because socialists, you know how you can tell a socialist is lying? Their, their gums are bumping. This is Hunter's own laptop. These are, I mean, there's photos of Joe Biden giving tours of the White House to Hunter, his own son's business associates. So he did lie. We know that to be fact now. And then the question is, why did he lie? He, Joe Biden is the one that built the firewall that said, I had absolutely nothing to do with what my son was doing. And yet he really did. So was he the big guy? Did he get 10% of the cut? Was he on the take? Is he compromised? Do foreign governments have something on him? We need to know these truths, and we are doing our jobs to have hearings like this. Well, you can't have faith in the FBI, Congressman, because it's the very no. FBI that's supposed to be investigating Hunter Biden and Joe Biden that was trying to suppress this story at Twitter. So I have no faith in them. But back to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Um, she used to be in the majority, and when they were in the majority, they could pick the hearings. They could talk about civil rights and, and abortion rights and whatnot. But I'm sorry, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, you're in the minority, and Republicans on your committee get to choose what hearings they have and what hearings they don't have. Yeah, elections have consequences, yeah, and the American people want to, get the, you know, want to get to the bottom of this story and so many more. And the FBI had that laptop starting in December of 2019. And we still haven't heard from and the FBI on yeah, the investigation, Congressman. Exactly. Congressman, thank you so much. Great to see you. Thanks, y'all. God bless. All right.